All right, good afternoon and welcome to the program, The Buzz, the show that brings you closer to social media and of course all of the issues as they trend on social media will bring them right here to you on this table. It's great to be here on this uh, Wednesday, the 14th of March, 2018. My name is Patience Belu Okafor and I welcome you warmly to the show alongside my my partner, Alero. Good afternoon, yes. Alero. Good afternoon, Patience. How are mm -hmm. you doing? I'm doing fine. How are okay. you doing? Very well, mm -hmm. very well. The weather has been friendly. Yes. Do they get to say so sunny, <laughs> but um, it's just the best way to just get to enjoy the weather. Mm. Well, today's edition of The Birds promises to be an insightful one as usual and also educative, informative and um, entertaining. And, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually feeling like a Friday today. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> we're going to be talking fun issues, but very serious issues, I dare say. Don't forget that the show is quite interactive. Do join us via uh, social media platforms. Yes, using, using the hashtag The Boys and Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Galaxy TV and also on Twitter at official Galaxy TV, knowing that you could get to watch previous editions of the program via our YouTube channel. That is Galaxy TV, Nigeria. And of course, you can also send SMS only to the number 0708740708, and the number is right there on the screen. Now, quickly, let's introduce our guest on the show this afternoon to you. Uh, sitting very close by to me, uh, we brought her first time on this particular program but she's a friend here on the station she's always around when we call her and we're glad to have her here again uh just last week here the police service commission approved her promotion uh alongside 400 uh other, yes uh, seven police officers uh, she used to be the Lagos state police uh, public relations officer uh, before becoming the zonal pro of zone 2 command and now she has been promoted from sp to chief superintendent of police it's a pleasure to have csp dollar for bad most with us on the show good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. i think i think yeah. applause is in order congratulations <laughs> imagine the balloons <laughs> and everything on you right now <laughs> congratulations ma'am thank you thank you for joining us also, someone we respect so much uh, because of the great work he's doing, especially pertaining to the Nigerian youth, is also here with us on the show. And because he is also on the path of channeling the energies of youth towards crime prevention, we've brought him here to sort of, uh, you know, consolidate your own efforts on the show today. He's the executive director and founder of African Youth Initiative on Crime Prevention, and he's also the PRO National Youth Council of Nigeria, Mr. Chris Ibe. Good afternoon, Good sir. Good afternoon, sir. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. You want to say something to... To well, our madam here. It's, it's a very big congratulations. <laughs> you know, it shows um, that the, the high authorities mm -hmm. are actually seeing the effort she is putting. True. And uh, whoever that um, works hard also um, needs to be appreciated, yes, uh, and compensated, yes. and also recognized. That's true. I think it's a worthy um, promotion. Congress, madam. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. All right, we're actually here discussing a very laudable issue. You know, for a bit now, the Nigerian police has been coming under intense fire from the Nigerian populace uh, because of issues bordering on perception of what the Nigerian police has become and also the lack of trust amongst other things. Plus, I, if I have to mention, the huge security threats we have on our hands from virtually every part of the country. But they're coming out uh, to do something actually that might actually you know, engage the Nigerian youth in terms of national security. And uh, that's essentially what we're going to be talking about. So our first topic today is the Nigerian youth as a tool for national uh, security. All right, ma'am, let's go straight into, into this issue. Uh, we are already aware of the high level of insecurity, even though we do know the police is working its best, you know, to put things in order and all of that. What is the success rate, really, of all the efforts? Well, um if I may say, I, I want to restrict myself to Lagos and Ogun okay. uh, because this is the place under my own coverage. Mm -hmm. But uh, as we can see, most of the criminal activities mm -hmm. have been perpetrated by you know younger ones 
those ones we can also say they are huge. Mm. And um, if I may come back to the success rate within Lagos and Ogun State, honestly, I will want to let you know that we've been able to do much. Mm -hmm. uh, because when the AIG in charge of Zone 2 came on board, uh, he charged the officers that are uh, crime. It's, we know that you can't take away crime totally, <laughs> totally from mm -hmm. there. But there are things we call. Uh, violence violent crimes and we have non violent okay. and so we want to actually focus on the violent one mm. the ones really we talk about armed robbery mm. we talk about kidnapping mm -hmm. and all of that and um, i can say categorically that all of that has really come to uh you know be arrest uh minimum if actually we don't want to say it's been eradicated uh, because you if you can figure it out and look back Early last year, mm. we were in like this. Mm. It was two more. They were going from school to school, you know, taking away school kids. Mm. They were going from home to home, taking mm. away people that are tied to, you know. In terms of uh, abduction. Rich, yes. Yeah, okay. So, mm. but if you want to say, at least late, late last year till now, you can say that all of that, you don't get to hear about it anymore. Mm. You don't get to hear about bank robberies anymore. Mm -hmm. And we have moved away from violent crimes. Okay. And then, of course, to non-violent one, which is normal, and then we're dealing with it. So if you want to ask me for the success rate, uh, with all sense of modesty, the police have done creditably well within the Lagos and Okay. okay. Um, now, let's talk about um, the relationship between the youth and the Nigerian police force, mm -hmm. limiting it to Lagos and Ogun. Mm -hmm. What's the relationship like? Well, um, we, with all sense of honesty, is not the way it should be, you know, um, there have been a lot of outcry mm, okay. from, you know, members of the public and basically youth. Okay. And then the police also have been seeing them as being troublesome also. Mm. And uh, they are the age uh, grade that are giving the, you know, the larger part of the problem we are having. And uh, what am I doing is, um, I think early this year, the AIG uh, in charge of Zone 2, AIG Adam Ibrahim, called all of us, head of department, and charged us that it's a new year, we have to put something on the table that will advance the cause of policing and that we ensure that we move in peace. So my department as the public relations officer, we've been having a lot of issues with the youth mm. because um, early last year, we, a GPO called me and told me that they have some suspects to parade. And uh, I said, okay, bring them and let's see the suspects. But lo and behold, when they came, they were kids between seven and 12 years. Wow. And what were they doing? They were already engaging in courtism. Hmm. And they formed gangs. One is Owonikoko group, and the other one is Happiness group. <laughs> and then they were having counter, you know, attacks. attacks. And in the process, they were arrested with acts, cutlass, and every other thing. Hmm. And when they brought them before me, I'm like, oh, MG, you mean? These ones are already court members. And it actually, you know, made me, I was so sad. And I felt, oh, rather than punishing, I think we need to act fast. Because these are the ones that don't even understand the impact of what they are doing. They don't even understand what they are doing. And then I believe because mentorship is lost. Mm. You know, every, all the younger ones, their, their mindset, their hearts are fat high ground. Is it that you go? you tutor them positively or negatively so it depends on whichever one comes first so if it is the negativity that you know came first mm. then they follow okay. so it's been worrisome and then i thought about what to do and then this is what led us to the entertainment meets security okay all right we're coming to entertainment we know the youth of nigeria are so much you know into that at the moment but let's bring uh, mr chrissy bay into this discussion uh you work with uh, a lot of uh, nigerian youth in terms of crime pre uh, prevention can we get like a detailed uh sort of uh, I don't want to use the word statistics, but for lack of a better word, uh, maybe like data or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, of how much of the Nigerian youth, what percentage do you think are really involved in, in crime? Well, um, thank you very much. Um, what I would like to say here is, uh, you know, in this part of uh, the world, the issue of statistics and data is always a very big challenge. But uh, the fact, um, observable fact, um, remains that it's a negligible aspect of the population, mm. you know, that really 
uh, gets involved, especially in violent crime. Because uh, we know young people, um, they are actually the hub. When they talk about societal development mm -hmm. uh, and national development, mm -hmm. it is anchored on young on the, people. Yes, that's uh, true. Because um, a peaceful society attracts development. Mm -hmm. Um, we cannot just say the entire young young people in Nigeria are all criminals. Mm -hmm. It's far from it. Mm -hmm. Because you, you can mention those criminals. Mm -hmm. You can actually mention them. I get what I'm saying. Sure. Uh -huh. Same same for outside here. You go to the north, you can actually mention the likes of Shakao. Mm -hmm. You can point them. You can pinpoint them. You can them. pinpoint them. Okay. So let's not uh, attribute uh, to the larger young people of this great nation that they are all criminals. That is far from it. It's just a negligible percentage, you know, that kind of uh, represents the black uh, spots mm. in, the, uh, in the youth sector, you know. Negligible? Yes, okay. of course. I bet you differ on that, though. But that's debatable. Maybe at another forum. <laughs> another <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, what I say, what I say negligible, mm. When I say negligible, I think, um, like you rightly said, it's subject to debate. Mm. But definitely, you can you can barely that is, you can name these criminals. Do you well, think when, it's negligible? When, when, when it, if you want me to come in, right? Mm -hmm. uh, negligible here is relative. Mm -hmm. You understand what we're talking about here is that who are the class of people okay. that are actually being you know that can actually be swayed mm -hmm. into criminality. Mm -hmm. You can't go and uh, encourage an old man mm -hmm. of about 70, 80 to come and carry arms and go into terrorism. Sure. You, can't you can't take an old man of 60 years or 70, you understand, to come and be fighting over courtism. Mm -hmm. Do you know they kill themselves now and can't scores? Mm -hmm. And these are the youths. We are not probably saying all the youths of Nigeria. Of course, we have the youth that are doing very well, very well. you understand. So what, when, what we're talking about here is that who are the people that can act easily be captured into criminality? And if you bet it, you will see that they are youth. How old is Shekau? You understand? He's, I'm not sure he's up to 40 years. You understand? So you get to see the younger ones being used. So mm. what we're discussing here is how, should, how can we grab these ones? How can we bring them into positivity? rather than negativity. Mm -hmm. So it depends, it's like someone wants to convince you to join their own religion. They do the preaching to you, they, they cite examples of why you should join their own religion. So if we are bringing it into this one now, is who comes first? to preach to the younger one. Is it the ones that want is to... Is it the bad ones? Is it the, the bad, bad ones or, or the good ones? Hmm. So that's what we're talking about here, that, well, the youth are the ones that can easily be convinced, mm -hmm. you understand, mm -hmm. into criminality. So the earlier we wake up and mentor them, mm -hmm. okay. the earlier we get better for it. Okay, all even right. One, one, one Go ahead. Even within the demography, mm -hmm. within the demography as, um, as um, defined, by the international youth charters okay. coming from the UN, from the AU, from ECOWAS, Commonwealth, mm -hmm. we have uh, 18 to 35. You know, though depending on different um, charters, we also have like the UN have uh, 18 to 24, different like that. So even within that demography, you know, the CSP mentioned that. Um, uh, the people who can easily be be be, be convinced, convinced. I get what I'm saying. Are young people? I said even within that demography of 18 to 35, they are still. You can actually pick them. You can pick them because there are young people who are doing exceptionally well in Nigeria within this uh, age bracket. There are young people who cannot uh, encourage criminality. There are young people who actually, out of their own activities, mm. are engaging uh, other young people, you know, repositioning their mindset towards positivity. Mm. So you can, you can still say it's negligible, though it's a challenge for us in the social, uh, the, the, that is a, in the NGO world, mm -hmm. to actually start looking at coming up with data, statistics, okay. to actually substantiate 
these uh, uh, positions. Mm. Okay, all right. I wanted to say something then. Um, before we speak about the bringing up uh, entertainment, because I know that's something in which um, the police force wants to do right now, bring the um, entertainment to correct some ills of um, the youth. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about something different aside from entertainment, because most of the youth, some of them might not be interested in music or movies, but what are the other things that you guys would just want to do to put the youth on their foot? Okay, I think um, what we are, are concerned about right now is proactive measures. Mm -hmm. okay. and we don't really need to be reactive because I, I see myself as a youth mm -hmm. um, and I see the younger ones, the upcoming one. I'm using myself as an example because while we were growing up, your parents will, you know, locate someone to mentor you. Mm. They want to talk to you about your education, mm. they want to talk to you about your behaviors, they want to talk to you about your dressing. So they, they locate people to mentor you. But if you agree with me now, mentorship seems to have been lost. Exactly. Everyone cares so much about their Only own clan themselves. now. Yeah, that's true. And I could remember while we were growing up, you don't need to see your parents before you behave very well because everyone's parent is your own parent mm. and the community you know breeds you and bring you up but it isn't like it's that a village anymore now. Mm. you understand mm. right now everyone you know you you mount up your friends and you keep your kids in between there and then you don't care about any other kid and what are we trying to do right now is like my grandmother told me while i was doing the police force said oh you want to join the people that arrest Muni Muni, <laughs> which means because to her the only work of a police officer is to arrest. arrest. Yes. And then we are changing the narrative now. Okay. It's not going to be about our duty is just going to be. What have we done, you know, to make these younger ones turn out right? And this that's why we're coming in through mentoring. Like you've rightly asked, uh, we've been going from school to school, okay. mentoring them, talking to them. You understand. I want to see them do what is right because like we said, it depends on who first come. If it's the negative ones that first come, then they follow the negative path. If it's the positive one, then they follow the... So we've been doing that, you know, talking to the youth, bringing them together, you know, mentor them. And then, but what we discover is that, well, if I have been going from school to school as a police officer talking to them, yes, they might listen at that moment. But when you are no more there, after about a week, two weeks, the peer pressure comes back. Mm -hmm. And then they forget about what you told them. Mm -hmm. You understand? But in a situation, we know that all of them now, even we adults, we are easily swayed by entertainment. You want mm. to listen to music, mm. you want to watch movies, and then every other thing. And here you cite the example of no matter how some of them go to school, mm. when they come back upon all the money you think the parents are spending, they, they, they want to become DJ. <laughs> then they want to, you know, they want to sing. They want to be and a video. Become, yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then what does that suggest to you is that we can take away entertainment. So when we now think about it, yes, of course, you want to see all of them when they move on the road now. Their hairpiece is there. They are listening. They download music. They download movies. You know, pay their money. So when you see a high percentage of them want entertainment. Okay, we've been going from school to school. Okay, why can't we use that entertainment they love so much? To lure them. To, to lure talk them. to them. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, oh, we're bringing in those ones that can come and sing for them. They get hype. You know, they enter into, you know, the system. They are carried along, you understand, in the entertainment. And then we bring some of the younger ones, like I said, that they are doing well. We have them. You understand? We have Debola Williams. About two months ago, he spoke on the platform of mm. Barack Obama. Mm. He received a standing ovation sure. from Barack Obama. He will come and mentor them and talk to them that you don't need to go the wrong way. You can't go the right way. I'm barely 30. And look at me. If I can stand on the platform of Barack Obama and speak, then that means I have something to offer. You know, we bring them examples they can follow. Mm. We have another guy that you had this one here who is well trained in India on internet issues is a certified examiner, internet examiner. We call them on, on a platter of good mm -hmm. certified ACAS. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is a guy, you understand that he is using his internet world positively and he's making millions of naira. And he's barely 30, he's not up to 30 years. So he needs to tell them that you don't need to be a Yahoo before you can make it. You understand? You can do it this way if what you are interested in is in internet then we can tutor you and make it you know use it positively rather than being the yahoo yahoo 
then you can be a certified examiner and make your money legitimately. These are all the things we want to preach to them. Mm -hmm. And we believe that if all of these people come to them, okay, they see the doctor seed, you know, sing for them and tell them that stop courtism, stop internet fraud, stop being a drug, you know, abuser. Mm. Whenever they turn on their TV, they see Dr. Sid, they remember it, what he told them. Whenever they turn on their, their TV, they see small doctor, they remember he came to tell them all of this. So it's, it, we are putting many things together just to achieve one aim. Mm. And the aim is to ensure that they turn out rightly. So, you know, it's a detached from, you know, what no police do, do. The the normal police okay. do it. So that's a new thing we're bringing on board. And I must sincerely thank the leadership of the force because when I brought in the proposal, the, you know, the leadership supported it and said, oh, this is a good innovation and they are ready to partner and support me. And, and that's all the way. Okay. All right, I, I actually have something to say again quickly about that, what you just said now. You said you're going down to the schools to get like mentor them. Mm -hmm. The kids might as well just listen and still go back to what they want to do. Now let's talk about the police force. You guys coming out with this type of positive message to the vibes and we still have some other things and some other people go back and still get to do the negative things that you just want to do. They don't want to mentor. So will the police force to want to just maintain Many are this? Cold. Yes. <laughs> okay, maybe yeah. your fear is because oh, we yes. are mentoring yes. them. Then if yes. they commit offense, are we yes. going to take them up? Of okay, course. let me take. Let me okay. take. For example, will you arrest somebody you mentored? <laughs> no. Why would you? Why would I? Okay. Do you understand? You know the guys I was talking about, like between seven and twelve years. Yeah. Ordinarily, when they bring them, we have juvenile courts. Mm. We can take them. Uh, but we sat down and said, oh. Let's treat them as first offenders. Mm, okay. You understand? Okay. Let's treat them as first offenders. And what we did was that they are still children. Because if you are below 13, mm. the constitution recognizes you as a child. As a child. Do yes. you understand? Then we brought in the parents. We made sure we got every of their parents. Mm. And when they came on board, we now told them, do you know you have the right? You have the constitutional right. You have all the power to mentor this child positively. You know, funny enough, some of them, we, they, they were there, they were asking, Kamaru, you are a secret court member? Like, they don't know. They don't know. You they know what their kids are. And that's so, you know, mm. that, that, that's another thing, like parenting. You want to tell me you don't know your child is engaged in all of And then you see another woman tell you, when I wake up 6 a.m., I'll, I'll go, then I'll come back like 10, 11. They are even sleeping. So what so does that suggest to you that they don't even know what their what? kids are up to? Mm. Every other day they go out. So we force them to take charge. And by con making them know that whenever they commit this offense, you will be held liable mm. because they are still children. And the law says if they commit, then we hold you responsible. So what we did was that every other day when they close from school, we open the register in Panty, they come back and sign, and we continue to be good. We, the, the parents must bring them. So we, we did that for like six months. Wow. And then we reduced it. Every day? Yes. Wow. You know, it, it's, it's awakening their consciousness. Mm. You understand? When they know, oh, I'm going to police station. Even the parents on the way will be talking to them. You see the problem you have caused to me now. Mm -hmm. I can't go to my place of work now. Mm -hmm. I must follow you to Panty every day. So the pain, we force the parent to mentor to them. To do something. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter that if we mentor them, that's a step we're taking, you know, to okay. correct. We agree that some of them might still want to go back. If you go back, we'll still have a way of dealing with you. It does not necessarily have mean that we have to hold them. There's something we call first offender, second offender, and habitual offender. Mm -hmm. So we have a way of taking charge. If you are a first offender, we have a way of dealing with you. If you are a second offender, we are. I don't feel good seeing youth, honestly, behind bars mm. because it portends danger, mm. whether we like it or not, because we say the youth are the future. And when they are missing, who now takes charge? True. All right, Mr. Ibi, let's bring you in here. In your experience of working with youths and all that, what would you say the, the story is like? What's the success rate, really, towards channeling them towards uh, positive things using entertainment? Yeah, entertainment is, uh, is, um, has been proven as a very big um, platform for young people, um, to, for young people, especially in mm -hmm. the area of engaging, engagement. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very, very good. Uh, but beyond entertainment, we, we can also look at the, um, the drivers of such, of, 
the, of the entertainment, okay. the drivers, is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, she mentioned mentorship. It depends on what you want to be mentored on. Because we've seen our entertainment drivers who also exhibit some high level of uh, indecency, mm -hmm. openly smoking of Igbo, cocaine becomes everything, mm -hmm. and uh, the, uh, the NBC is climbing on some of their yeah. videos and yeah. stuff like that. Because they infuse all of that. Yes, of course. So it goes um, uh, a long way in influencing negatively the lives of young people. Mm. So when we talk about entertainment, we also look the area, we also define the kind of um, 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 artist, mm -hmm. the kind of role models we are talking about. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, we, I don't want to subscribe to those ones that we've, we come openly and uh, 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 kind of um, uh, promote, you know, promote illicit substances mm -hmm. that will even endanger the lives of the young people. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted to make, um, make a, a, a brief on the relationship between Nigerian police and young people. You know, that was exactly how we started this yes. discussion. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been a very, a very soured relationship. It's mm -hmm. been very, very soured. Um, I've benefited in um, U.S. sponsored events uh, where we travel to the U.S. Uh, on a youth, conf youth community conflict uh, resolution. resolution yeah. You have the police uh, being part of this program and when you go out, not just in the US, in Japan and different areas, when you see a police, you, will, you have no doubt that he is a citizen of that nation. You have no doubt. You can, the issue of trust becomes cardinal. You can heed yourself, you can place your, your trust on the police, you know. But we have a situation in Nigeria where it is the trust between uh, uh, the Nigerian citizen and the police is 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 if I would is is, is just down, hmm. and that is the area we really we are working on, where young people can actually walk to the police station or call a police uh, uh, officer and be confident and be confident that, that, that is, look at yeah. this. Mm. You know, the CP, uh, CP Mohimi, when he came in new, mm. um, he started something, the community, uh, he, he kind of amplified the community policing agenda of the IG. Mm. It was a wonderful uh, experience. But the, the, one of the greatest challenge we have here is, it's like there is a war, a cold war between young people and the police. And we came up with a suggestion that no police, no, no CP in Lagos has ever given young people the fight against crime. Make them own, own, own this, the, own the, the fight. fight. Okay. Same, same um, okay. uh, Hafiz, uh, AIG Hafiz, mm -hmm. uh, formerly of uh, Zone 2, yes, we had a relationship with, with him, which actually started it. Why not come and meet young people? Create a platform where you share with young people. That is how it's being done in civilized nation. You don't see young people as the, those uh, that, that person the that, that wants yeah. to fight you because <laughs> he stands in a position to give you that information you will never have. You see, he stands in that position. You might ask the police, you might make a corner, call the police. The next thing is that we are on top of the matter. You don't know the age. You don't know the platform. The platform might be you. You might not even. Well, I, I, I beg to you know disagree with Sorry, that. Sorry, ma. Just give me one minute. Let, I think when I run around, you can, you can. Mm -hmm. okay. You don't know. You know, we do. I, I, I uh, we do. We, uh, we deal with crime prevention. I will tell the police officer that, madam, say yes. You are a mother. You are a wife. Yeah. With crime prevention, your husband will never be a widower. With crime prevention, your wife will never be a widow. Your children will never lose their, 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 their parents. We try to stop these things. Mm. Even before. Before it happens. I Be think that's what she said about yes, being. Yes, that's why I, I said. Yes, I, 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 that's why I'm, I'm appreciating. I'm appreciating yes. the, 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 the new narrative. I think, what I, do, okay. I think what we should do. Mm -hmm. I, I, I am a person. I am an active person. I don't see. I don't do the talk. Okay. I walk, walk the talk. talk. 
And I think most problems that we're having in our community in Nigeria is that we all want to talk. But when it times for action, you don't see nobody. Mm -hmm. um, we're starting something. A journey of a thousand miles starts That's with this thing. I, as the public relations officer for Zoom 2, I have engaged youth more than you can ever think of. Mm. Do you understand what I'm within saying? Within your, your the, zone? Yes, within okay. my zone. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know why I have passion for you. I've had myself severally. But, you know, I don't want to bother about the, 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 the aged the ones, the, the mm -hmm. ones that are up there. I so much care about the ones that are, that are, are coming, coming up. up. You see, uh, I, from the way you're talking, you've not engaged police very well. Mm -hmm. When the CP that you're talking about came on board, you know, the, the issue of community police, I'm a student of community policing. I was mm -hmm. trained by DFID, mm -hmm. you understand, both within and abroad. And when, I, when the CP came on board, the first thing he did was to release 10 numbers that you can engage the police through. They have platforms. There is no social media platform that we don't engage in, whether Twitter, whether Instagram, whether Facebook. Whether, all of them. These are where we find the younger ones, the youth out there. They engage us on all of this. You understand? We are going another step forward to say, come youths, let's come together. You think that they, most of them will not be able to raise issues that are concerned That's to true. them? They will raise it. We will talk about it. Do you understand? We want to demystify everything around the police. The police belong to the people. The people belong to the police. Hey, uh, you know, a journalist once asked me, what's the difference between Dolapo the police and then Dolapo the woman out of uniform. <laughs> and I said there is no difference. Because immediately there is a difference between the Dolapo out of police and the Dolapo in the uniform. Mm. Then there is a problem. I've carried my entire being into the police force. Do you understand? Whether in character, mm. whether in behavior, mm. whether in how I engage people, I am hopeful. And if we are starting from somewhere, I think we should be given kudos. Mm. Yes. You understand? The police you're talking about, don't forget that they've suffered so much under military rule. These are the people that were, they were sent backwards when the military were ready. Do you want to count the number of years that the military, you know, ruled this nation and the police were, were never allowed to take their place? And then when they came back on board, the only thing they understand after the democracy is that the things, they look at the military. Well, how do they do it? Force. And they engage people with And then force. they emulate yes. that. They emulated that. Mm. But is it still the same? Since when have you heard that police shoot and kill somebody because of 20 naira or 50 naira. But you will agree with me that early 99, 2000, these are the things you open newspaper you and you find mm -hmm. all the time. Extrajudicial killing. When last have you heard about extrajudicial killing? Don't think that all of those things just entered ground. No, it's a conscious effort of the leadership okay. of the force. While we're still talking about you know changing the narrative of the Nigeria police force, you talked about uh, the reduction in the rate of extrajudicial killings. Yes, maybe that has reduced, but police harassment is another issue on, you know, that we need to deal with. They mm. might not be killing people, but harassment, the harassment is, is still... The just, sorry, ma'am, just um, a few days ago, I don't know if this video is recent or not, but just a few days ago, it started making the rounds again on social media. So let's take the footage, then we can talk, you know, a, a bit more. All right, we'll take that video on police harassment and then we'll come back. No gases, No gases, No gases, No gases, No gases, No gases,
guess you saw that the footage, the two footages there. And you know, while we're trying to uh, change people's perception of the Nigerian police force, rebuild trust, you know, in them and all of that, and then you see videos like this, how would you react as a police officer? Well, well I would want to say not even about me alone. Mm -hmm. Uh, when we are the public relations officer, most of these things get to us first, and okay. then we have to, you know, bring it to the leadership for them to see. Most times you see all of these things, you feel bad mm -hmm. as a police officer, and then, you, well, most times you feel out of 12 disciples, there must be a Judas. Mm -hmm. And then you remember the way they treated Judas, and then if you have misbehaved, mm -hmm. you understand? We have laid down rules and regulations. The first video, I think I saw it about a year and a half ago mm -hmm. when um, the former CP, uh, Fatai Oshin was the CP Lagos State uh, Command. I think by the time that case, that particular case was investigated, mm -hmm. um, the man you see being held, even his colleagues came to witness against him because they said he actually misbehaved. <coughs> to the police officer. Mm. And then the second one, I've not been able to figure that out. Mm -hmm. But most times our men misbehave. We have laid down rules and regulations and then we deal with them accordingly as it is, you know, at is it. Don't feel that whenever any video comes out and then we see, it doesn't even matter. You there don't are, ignore there it. Are, okay. There are more that even come out that, that you don't even get to know because it's not in the video, you understand? Yeah. And, but we have a disciplinary hand of the force, which okay. we call provost. Mm. Immediately we see all of this, we refer it for investigation. Because we don't just say, oh, as you look at it, that is the way it happened. No, we have to give fair hearing to every party involved. Okay. And then whenever any policeman is found culpable, we always deal with them. And like I told you, most times, why did you see the reduction in, uh, you know, this behavior right. of yeah. Yeah. policemen? It's because the actions have been taken. So it serves as a deterrent to, to others. others. Okay. So but for everyone that is still coming up, we actually take charge of it. And I, like I tell you, uh, we will get there. We are working on it. Amen. Okay. All right, because our time is uh, fast moving along, uh, let's talk about the security concept that your, your zone is putting together. What is the entirety of that concert really about? Well, I think we've had about a prayer concert. <laughs> <laughs> we've had about- Maybe we should have something like that with the Nigerian police. <laughs> we've had about- the prayer music. crusade. Yes, we've had, yes, okay. we, we are open to that. Okay. Whichever okay. way, the Muslim way, the Christian way, I know of that too. We, okay. we, we are open to it. Anything that we advance the cause of policing, okay. the yeah. leadership of the force is open it's to open it. To it. That's you understand? To like I was saying, we've had also about, you know, music concert of this world that mm. belongs there, but we've never heard about security concerts. Okay. Okay. This is all over the world. You know, we are bringing um, a guy from FBI to come and talk and show clips to our younger one of how youths that misbehaved up or behind bars mm -hmm. and how they serve them jail time. That's what is basically coming to do. Mm -hmm. So that we can affect their psyche mm -hmm. to turn okay. away from, you know, criminality. Okay. And while I was speaking, you know, with the FBI uh, mm -hmm. guy, he told me that this is also that even abroad, they've never, you know, thought of having this. And then we're bringing this together. It's called Security Concert on March 20 at Unilag. We are okay, using okay. Professor Ade Ajayi all mm -hmm. in Unilag. It's on a Tuesday. And we want to see all our youth. It's going to be concert like. Uh, but I love entertainment a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> so we are going to. And we know you like Adebule <laughs> goals a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And like he said, you understand. We <laughs> actually <laughs> scrutinize the ones that are coming on board. Okay. Uh, you understand. Okay. Uh, we know that. We know a lot of them that have a lot of followers. And if you mention their name, the whole all will be full to the brim. But we wouldn't do them because they are not people that are presentable to mentor mm -hmm. okay. the younger ones. Sure. So that's why we're able to, you know, streamline and work on the ones we're bringing. It's so not that we just, yes, they all, all our artists. It's not that we just went out there and we started picking, picking. No, okay. you understand. We know what we are driving at, and we know people that can achieve that with us. We can bring someone on board, and they will say, "Oh, look at the person that just sang about the thing we are talking about." Or while he was singing, <laughs> you see him with 30 kg of rap, 
and then you now say you should come out. It won't make any impact. Rather, he will cause more havoc. That's true. So, so you need to practice what you preach. Yes, yeah, so we want to bring on board people that will be able to convince okay. the young All right, Mr. Ibe, we're going to let you talk, but let's quickly mm -hmm. go to the feedback platform. So many reactions going on here. Uh, some of them I can't read. I've said, do put your name and where you're sending your message from and please you mind your words okay because it's television this one from Omoye in Ikeja says good afternoon to you all I want to give my kudos to the lady police officer in your midst I want other police officers to emulate her I didn't have an iota of respect for these officers until I met her when I had a case of child abuse and I was very pleased with the way she handled it. Uh, she is one in a million. We need more of your kind in the force. May God bless you, ma. Mm -hmm. This other one says, uh, the Nigeria police needs to do more as the relationship between the Nigeria police and the, and the people uh, can, be, can be described as frosty, both young and old alike. The footage, uh, the footage says it all, cheating. Um, this one is asking, please, when is the Nigerian police force starting the screening and exam? Please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I free, don't know the screening free and Free consultation. Exam well. Maybe for recruiting. But if it's recruitment, mm -hmm. I can tell you the one for the Lua Keda is ongoing now. Okay. The okay. one for the higher Keda is not yet on, on ground. Okay. Who yeah. qualifies to be in the higher Keda? Uh, the, I think the graduates, okay. the one that graduated, they are going to start with one P. All right. Yeah. All right. This other one, Alex Abel uh, says, I just tuned in, but I must give it to the woman in uniform. In Ekboma, where I live, the police have more Judases than true disciples. Yeah, we know. We're working <laughs> on it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Ibe, let's, let's hear from you too. What do you think about this uh, security concert? Well, it's, it's like I said, it's... Um you know, uh, whatever they get it right, mm. we have to give them, we have to applaud them, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it's a new narrative. It's a very good uh, initiative that uh, you see young people um, being gathered to actually talk about um, security, but in a, in a concert format. It happens, it happens abroad. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, I made, I, made um, I, 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 I referenced something here last time how the football, the England stuff started. It was because of the high crime rate in London that brought about the floodlight system of footballing in, mm. in, in London. Mm. So when the Nigerian police you know, took the initiative to, to, to organize this, I think it's, it's a wonderful uh, initiative. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, like, I, I said earlier that they, they, we should have more engagement. The youths need to be given this fight. The, the, the police, they see it as their fight. They see it as their fight. And that is why young people will always be at distance. Mm. By the time you bring, you create a platform, these platforms are wonderful. To interact but, with yes, them. But yes, but we've, we've, we've never had it like this. We've never had it. Mm. I was speaking to the, uh, when we had a court CVC to the, to the CP, I told him that, go to your files. We've never had any CP youth engagement. Mm. We've never had it. And, you know, when a CP comes in town, abroad, what they, what they do is, bring different segments uh, in the society you put your programs down mm -hmm. you let them that this is my target this is what i'll be doing within this time within this time i'll be here okay so you are welcome to make contribution you see that you know nigeria you them. make yourself open and accessible you know that we don't need to, we yeah. don't expect so you. much as a people mm. young nigeria we don't expect so much <laughs> you can imagine uh, my lady coming the csp coming to this office <laughs> Let me be realistic to you that every young man here will what? be happy. They want to take a selfie. Will be happy. <laughs> are, you getting I what get you. are you getting what I'm saying? I get so you. you can imagine that the PPRO decides to have uh, a, a police youth dialogue. Hmm. After that, some of them will want to maintain the relationship by performing, hmm. by bringing information just to maintain the relationship. It's an aspect of crime prevention. I get you. You yeah. understand? I get you. So, when police open up to this, mm. uh, okay. some of them will ask, what do you know about crime prevention? Okay, some all right. Let's, okay. let's see more feedbacks. 
All right, well, I need quickly. to just get asked this okay. question because I know, fine, the event is actually going to take place in Unilag. I know for some youth that are actually um, illiterate, that don't go to school, and they're on the streets and need to be part of it, of this particular event, don't you think you need to take this kind of event down to Maybe the streets? Maybe to the streets. Where a lot you understand, of like a stadium, like an open Good field, one, where, right. where we could get a have. Yeah, I like like we have maintained that this is not going to be a one-off thing. Okay, uh, it's going to be continuous. Mm. And right now we're starting with you know the ones uh, that are younger, that okay. not necessarily the one in school. Mm. You understand? Some of them I've heard about it. I I was in a function. You understand? And I saw. Uh, one A U R T W, and he came. He walked up to me. He greeted me, and he told me that uh, he had we are doing something like we are bringing musicians. I said yes. He said, "Can they mobilize to come to the place?" I said, "Yes, mobilize the reliable one." You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's open to everyone. Even you, you can attend. It doesn't matter. It has to be, you know, the younger ones. Mm -hmm. But the aim remain constant. It means the you same know thing. the reason why we're uh, doing that remains that we want the youth to turn. Whoever knows, even adults that might be there and feel, oh, I should just answer, answer of this yeah. because mm -hmm. this is the preaching I've gotten from here. Okay. Bet, by the time the FBI guy played the video, you'll be broken. You understand? When you see the younger ones that are already crying that they should be freed in Ankov, and they ask you, do you want to end like this? And don't forget, most of my, I, I am on social media, and most of them have said they want to meet with me and talk with me. I bet I can't go from house to house. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I have some other work. It's just where we can gather ourselves together, together and, and do okay. it together. On that one yes, we are going yes. to have a lot of picture taking. We are going to have a lot of handshakes and mm -hmm. every other thing. And then by that we impact each other. And we can always follow up on each other and then do it right. Okay, okay. A good one. All right, let's see more feedbacks. Where is AKS in Nigeria? Is anywhere called AKS? This one is saying... Uh, is it Akwaibon? Akwaibon oh, okay. State. Oh, oh okay. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Edie from AKS says, Wow, this issue is quite rich and interesting. Kudos to the policewoman. You really have a lot to offer. You. And you've partially been able to erase some of the wrong impression I have about the Nigerian police force. Be it as it may, I think a repeat of this topic should be aired over the weekend <laughs> when most of the children or those yeah, concerned will actually be available. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes. You know, CSP, you just get to watch Dollar Corbett must <laughs> will text you the rates. Okay. You pay our station, we'll put it on air. <laughs> yes, but you can, use make for the you can use what we call corporate social responsibility. That's okay. true. You understand? We all have a right to give That's back true. to the society. society. You yes, know, what true. we're doing, I can start categorically to tell you that Nobody is funding it. Okay. It's our selfless effort. Mm. And, and the private get, sector, I mean, we this is a good thing to keep So into. it's not a bad idea mm. if your company, your organization, will replay it like Saturday morning or Sunday morning. That would be a good one. you will see that you will receive the blessing. Plus, you can, you can catch, you know, the program on online. YouTube. Online, yes. Much well, later today, yes, you can definitely. watch the program online mm -hmm. if you can afford data. All right. Kudos to the police officer. Catch the youth young will go a long way to reduce crime amongst the youth. Uh, Pastor Austin from Abuliegba. Thank you for sending that one in. So many, so many uh, here. The PRO is awesome. Kudos to her. Kindly sensitize the police force that not every good looking youth that uses an iPhone is a Yahoo boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, this one is asking about uh, the police form, too. I think a lot of people are thinking of joining the police force. They are welcome. We, we need to save most of them on board. You mm. understand? Okay, this one says, thank you. I really like this place. We need police school, at least in every local government. Mm -hmm. All right, she's noting all of that. Uh, somebody is asking about the challenges of the woman police. Tomiwa from Kola is asking that one. This other one says, uh, I have heard and seen uh, the lack of bad moss, or only on air. You are sound. Do you have a personal line? <laughs> okay, <laughs> from Oweri. <laughs> yes, she is sound, she's beautiful, and she's happy. Happily married. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Madam Dolapo, you will be great. Mm -hmm. uh, greater than you are. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, this other one is talking, uh, saying it's a very bad situation. 
uh, and say, Madam, uh, read the serious messages. The thing is, you can send a serious text without using abusive language. If you do that, I won't read the text because this is television, all right? So if you word your text properly, then I will, I will read it. My name is Oguntade Taiwo. Please help tell uh, PRO Badmos that the SARS officers uh, as have begun harassing again along Dokwemu. Okay. God bless Niger Police and Galaxy TV. Thank you very okay. much. Um, mm, so English, I can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I guess one we have so, someone on the program. So that was many. on Friday. Patience. Mm. We had someone on the program, a colleague of ours on the program, and um, she brought to your attention. She brought to the attention of the television that. Um, there were police officers disturbing them around their mikbaja. Yes. Yes, putting the barricade. So Everywhere. All right, yeah. our time is up. I wish we could take much more. Thank you so very much, uh, ma'am, for coming on the show today. Thank you. Our guest has been uh, Chief Superintendent of Police, Dolapo Badmos, and she's the Zonal PRO uh, for Zone 2 Command in Lagos and Ogun State. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. And also it's to Mr. Pleasure. Chris Ibe. He's the Executive Director and Founder, African Youth Initiative on Crime Prevention, and also the PRO National Youth Council of Nigeria. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you, Alero. Thank you, Peg Sense. All right, we're supposed to have small doctor here. He's stuck in traffic somewhere. Lasma, take note. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> at noon with another edition of the show. Bye for now. Yeah,